In this part of the photography review show, we're gonna be looking at animal, pets, portrait, and macro photographers. Hello everyone and welcome back to another photography review show. We are super excited to have all your photos over. Once again, we receive many photos from great photographers and looking at them, it seems like this was one of the best episodes yet. We have incredible photos to share with you and to review. For those who don't know me, my name is Jacob Bors. I'm a landscape and hospitality photographer based in the south of England in an area called West Sussex. I've been photographer for many, many years. And over the last few years, I've been reviewing photos for my colleagues and friends. And so we decide here at the Clever Photographers that that's what we're gonna do for you guys. We're gonna review your photos and share the feedback with you so you can keep moving forward. Now, um, just before we start, just a quick reminder of an upcoming show, which coming in a few weeks, we're gonna do a special of the photography review show, where we're gonna be answering the question, if your photo is good enough to be on a cover of an exclusive photography magazine. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You basically send us your photos. We're gonna try to place them on the magazine, and I'm gonna simply tell you yes or no, this picture is good enough to be used for the cover of the photography magazine so it will be a lot of fun it's coming in a few weeks and if you don't want to miss it make sure you head to our website cleverphotographer.com scroll all the way down and sign up to our newsletter so you don't miss any of the reminder for this upcoming special but now without any further ado let's jump straight into the photography and the reviews and here we are back in the Lightroom and we are ready to review our photographers. So we're gonna be looking at animal photography, we're gonna be looking at pet photography, macro photography, and then we're gonna be ending it up with the amazing portrait photography. So starting here, we are looking at the animal photographer Jack, um, or Jack, and he sent us two photos, uh, two incredible photos actually. Um, and first, uh, both of them are of a bird. And um, if I have to look at them both, um, this one is amazing this is my favorite one but the second one is very pretty too uh, the difference mainly by my first impression is that uh, this one there is the movement in it so the bird actually is doing something rather than standing here but out of the many uh, bird pictures I saw over the last four weeks these are definitely some of my most favorite ones and well done on that so Jack let's have a look at it from technical part um, if I zoom in, um, everything is well, well sharp on and in focus. I also love what you've done with the actual uh, focal length. Uh, in this case, the fact that your bird and the flower and everything is in focus and then the background is nice and blur. Uh, quite often what I get now these days is that just part of the bird is in focus or part of the flower and it just gets um, overuse over over and over but in your case i think this works very well and i really prefer this let's see if we have any details sadly we don't that's a really shame we could see what camera and setting you use but anyway uh, technically uh, great light great choice of the composition highlights shadow all works for me uh, well done there uh, similarly here more on the natural color side uh, the composition is lovely everything again in focus um, um, also the quality of the picture you send with us, uh, share with us is really, really high. So well done there. Again, similar, like I was saying earlier, you got some nice blur at the background, which works very well with some details where here we didn't really need the details here. It works, uh, because obviously just bright, uh, um, part would be um, just a little bit flat so a little bit of the wrinkles works very well and then everything else is in focus so uh, lovely lovely when it comes to artistic part uh, this as a composition just works incredibly well I mean the bird in a kind of in your um, uh, third like a golden point of the third works very very well the bird is moving the message is clear there it's a lovely storytelling picture I think the crop uh, square crop actually works quite well here uh, so well done on that although it would be quite interesting to see um, what was the original photo so we could then maybe play around with it and see if we could do something else um, obviously just to see if you could kind of really crop in on the bird and uh, see something like this but anyway uh, the picture the first one is probably one of my favorite of this week moving on this one um, again composition wise it's very interesting but the difference between uh, the previous picture and this one is that bird doesn't really do anything so that one is a bit more interesting he could be kind of 
eating something, moving, uh, flying, and it would just add a little bit more interest. Again, these parts and these parts are a little bit kind of empty, so not much is happening there. So we could see if maybe you could just crop it a little bit more, uh, use kind of panoramatic uh, view of it and see if that would help. But in general, again, lovely picture and a lovely, lovely uh, capture. Moving on, uh, the post-processing, the post-processing is spot on. The colors are great. The white balance works very well. The contrast is incredible. The details and sharpness is full on. Um, obviously, uh, I like how this one is a bit more on a natural, brighter side. This one is full on saturated and uh, super well done on it. Just as a reminder, um, uh, Jack, uh, for this one, uh, just like for all your photos, uh, it would be a great capture and it would be great to use it for the upcoming special we're preparing for the photography review show, where we're gonna be answering if your photo could be on the cover of the luxury photography magazine. And I think some of your pictures could definitely do that. So keep an eye on it and send them over so we can uh, um, review them there. Moving on, next we're going to be looking at macro photographer Rene. Rene, two photos, uh, and I feel that I maybe saw your pictures before, but if I haven't, it's maybe just in my mind. I saw lots of photos over the last four weeks, uh, but they are stunning. But just as a kind of uh, inspiration hint for the future, uh, there is a photographer and my very good friend uh, Joel Grimes, and he has an incredible masterclass called Still Life Masterclass. And if you have a time and it's something what would maybe interest you, uh, it's right now with a discount, fifty-seven dollars. And uh, he basically helps you to capture something similar to what you do, uh, obviously uh, vegetable and flowers and different items. And he used lots of lovely textures behind. And I feel that um, although the capture is incredible, uh, the dark background uh, would be even kind of nicer if you could replace it with something like this. So maybe as an inspiration, it's something what could interest you. But in general, uh, it's a lovely capture. I think this one haven't necessarily arrived in the best quality. Looking at it, um, it's a bit blurry. Uh, and there are some leaks coming, but this one arrived uh, super well. Um, it's all sharp, all parts, which I like to be, they are sharp with obviously the water drops. It's a lovely capture. Um, your white balance is a little bit on a cooler side, but we'll talk about it in post-processing. When it comes to composition, this composition is awesome. Although when you're using the black, I'm wondering what would it do if the black, the kind of empty space would be more here because the flower is kind of facing away. So it would be in nice if she would be facing inside of the empty space rather than away from it. Uh, this one, um, there are some distracting elements down here, which I would be kind of trying to see if I could remove, even if in post-processing. And there is the space here, which it has some kind of leak, so I'm not 100% sure there. And again, sadly, it didn't arrive in the best shape. But this flower is awesome, so really nice, clear message, and well done there. And it comes to post-processing. Uh, as I say, it seems on a cooler side. I wonder if we would pump a little bit of the uh, warmth. It kind of look a little bit nicer to my eye. It's also super contrasty, which is maybe the artistic... Uh, vision and that's fine then but for me it has a little bit too much of a contrast especially when you have something like a flower with the drops i would prefer it to be more kind of dreamy rather than being so sharp and full of clarity and texture but it's just me uh, in general it works very well i think the uh, crop is quite nice again if we could kind of shift the black dark empty space here i think it would work a little bit nicer Moving on the next photographer, we have a pets photographer, Sabing. Uh, Sabing sent us several pictures and she was actually our photographer of the week last week. And this week she sent us another capture of her dogs. So we have a one dog right here. Sabing, uh, let's run through it quickly. We already know that your technical skills are uh, super cool. I like how the foreground is blurry. Then you have the dog full on and how your background um, is nice and blur, but enough uh it keeps enough of the texture so we can recognize the scene it's a lovely kind of autumn late summer field with the birds the dog is looking at the birds uh, and it works the composition the light the time of the day is well chosen there when it comes to the artistic part um I'm not 100% sure about this one. And I think it's maybe I was kind of looking at this picture several times and I was trying to figure out what it is. And it's maybe 
<clears throat> the way the dog stands is just um, if he would be more standing the way that we would see more of the front and him turn away uh, I think it would be slightly more interesting although it's a lovely storytelling picture and I think this picture uh, would work even better being part of the set of the pictures so it would kind of tell a story rather than being just one single picture but again the glow is well done the bird works and it's just super cool so maybe just a different capture see if you have a different angle to work on it when it comes to post-processing it works um, natural colors texture in the sky uh, lovely crop um, there's the glow uh, um, and um, it just works there is a lovely vignetting uh, so we get more contrast and more attention on the dog and it's super well done finally we have a portrait from frank here and uh, Frank, this is definitely one of the nicest captures I've seen this week. Well done on that. <clears throat> I actually had a look at your website and seen your work and I think you are incredible. I can't really add and will probably not add much of a value to you other than saying that, you know, starting from the idea uh, to then realizing it and then being able to do it and capture it is a kind of long journey. I think there are lots of photographers who have the ideas but then they don't have the technical skills to actually bring it together then there are photographers who have the technical skills but they don't have the idea and this just all works together uh, it's super well done obviously looking at your website i can see that you experience photographer and this is definitely one of the pictures i would love to see on our special in a few weeks where we're going to be answering if your photos could be on the cover of the luxury magazine because this is one of those which could definitely be there well done technically super well captured all in details um, uh, with the nice focal uh, depth of the field at the back with enough details to kind of match together the fabric and the background uh, message clear message with a lovely kind of posture of the woman well done composition is great super super nice light uh, just nothing more to add there and then the post-processing turning it to black and white i can totally imagine why this works in this case there's lots of lovely contrast there's lots of lovely light um, there is a lovely detail in the eye of the person and just well done uh, frank i don't have much to add it's super beautiful picture thank you very much and we really hope to see more of your photos in the upcoming weeks on this show so we can get inspired by them thank you very much for joining us Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this week. This was our third and final show. If you enjoy it, uh, make sure that you hit a like somewhere, you leave us a comment. There will be also a photographer of the week coming again on Sunday. So we'll see who we're going to choose. Uh, if you want to join us, make sure you head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. Scroll down and see the link where you can upload your photos or even better, subscribe to our newsletter there and get all the reminders and all the news around the photography review show, around our products and lots of other stuff. Thank you again. I can't wait to see you again next week. And until then, bye bye.